back here watching the corporate eye uh, let's take a look at how hinduja global is doing at this point in time we can maybe pull out this stock how that one is doing it's up uh, over a percent uh, as we speak and it was an earnings boost coming in uh, for the company the revenues went up by about 23 percent on a yoy basis its ebitda however was down by about 26 percent even the ebitda margins uh, came uh, down to about 6.7 percent versus 11 percent on a yoy basis profit as well um came down by about 16% so in fact it was actually a mixed set of earnings coming in for hinduja global the stock is reacting positively it's up over a percent uh, we have the management joining us uh, mr partha desarkar okay so uh, there's still some time before he joins us uh, let me take you through some of the highlights of their quarter their organic revenue growth in constant currency terms that was about 7.4% ebitda excluding the acquired businesses that was up uh, that was around 110 crore rupees ebitda margins excluding the acquired business that came in at about 10.2% the capex that the company uh, has reported for the second quarter was about 37 odd crore rupees and ytd that is year to date that's about 76. 4 crore rupees and during the quarter the company actually managed to reduce the gross debt uh, by about 30 odd crore rupees so that was a positive in their earnings now their gross debt actually stands at about 554 crore rupees and their onshore to offshore revenue mix is at about 53.4% uh, versus 53.7% uh, uh, earlier so that's how the uh, hinduja global actually did uh, during uh, the quarter uh, we can also pull out now hinduja global uh, that one came out uh, with its earnings mix bag of earnings uh, for hinduja global uh, the management of the company mr partha desarkar global ceo at hinduja global solutions uh, joins us sir hi very warm welcome to the show it has been a mixed uh, quarter for you this time around uh, revenues have gone up but uh, ebitda was under pressure and even the profit was under pressure could you give us a sense of uh, how the quarter panned out for you what worked for you and uh, what didn't in this quarter yeah thanks for the question shatli so uh, let me talk about the top line growth first on a year on year basis we've grown by about 22.9% in rupee terms and if i were to give a little bit more detail uh, organic growth in that 22.9% number would be about 7.4% uh forex growth would be about 7.9% and the inorganic growth was about 7.6% coming out of the two acquisitions that we did in april uh even on uh, the ebitda the organic business has actually done pretty well uh you know at about 1109 crores our ebitda margin is at about 10.2% uh, the question that you asked on the ebitda dilution has been because of one of the two acquisitions that we did and we did mention that it is going to be an earnings dilutive acquisition for some time and that we expect that to be earnings dilutive for this entire year the fact that it is earning dilutive was known and we had factored in the, it in the price that we paid for that acquisition so it's along expected lines i'm not too worried about the dilution of the earnings because of that uh, particular asset the headwind that we have in the business is actually coming from the india domestic business Uh, NBFCs, but not across the. Uh, so meanwhile, we were speaking to Hinduja Global, uh, sir. Hi. Uh, we um, apologies that we cut you down because there were some really important comments coming in. So coming back to your second quarter, so we've seen a lot of volatility in the currency market. Dollar index uh, was high against a ba- dollar was high against a basket of currencies. Rupee, we saw depreciation coming in in that one, and you operate in couple of countries. So could you tell us how did this currency volatility uh, in the global markets? Uh, impact your books well uh, i may sound a bit international but uh, the fact is that if the rupee weakens because we are exporters it actually helps our earnings so if you look at the growth in a year on year term 22.9% in rupee terms that has a contribution of about 7.9% from forex and the uh, dollar is actually strengthened both take both against the indian rupee and against the philippine peso and about 30% about 35% of our revenues are actually coming in these two geographies so we've gained from the fact that the dollar is actually appreciated 
So I'll club uh, two questions. Uh, you won a couple of clients in the second quarter. Give, could you give us more details of what, what is the business that you're likely to get from these clients and what is the margin profile of these clients? And second, uh, in the second quarter, you managed to cut down your debt by about 30 crore rupees. So uh, for your debt position, could you give us an outlook going ahead? Uh, so the clients that we've signed up, one is in UK. Uh, it's in uh, it's in the public sector, which is actually providing. Um, uh, I mean, it's it's an advised line on investments. So that started up in UK, and that's a very interesting line of services in financial services. Insofar as the other clients are concerned, we are ramping up an Indian NBFC. Unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to uh, reveal the name. We've set up a new center in Pune, and that's about 1,000 people already. And those are the two big clients that we've signed up, and we expect to do very well. On uh, What was your second question, ma'am? It was about your debt level. You managed to cut down your debt by about 30 crore rupees. So for your debt position, could you give us an outlook? Yeah, the reason uh, we've been uh, we've been generating good amount of cash, and our aim is always when the cash generation happens to pay down our debt. So it is debt repayment under the normal uh, uh, circumstances, and we had excess liquidity, and we decided to pay down debt. But we may uh, going forward increase our debt a little bit to fund some of the growth that is going to happen. So it's our debt levels in our operations is fairly low, and. Uh, uh, um, you know, we've got surplus cash as well. So it's an ongoing, uh, you know, the number goes up and down depending upon cash needs of the business. Sometimes it's just the growth in working capital. And if you were to acquire something, then we tend to finance ourselves through uh, through debt as well. So. All right, sir, thank you so much for giving us all these details about your second quarter. The stock is also doing pretty well. It's up uh, over 1% uh, as we speak, and uh, the management uh, did highlight that uh, the EBITDA margin dilution, that was expected because of the acquisition that they did earlier. So the street is also taking that well. The stock is up over a percent. And with that, we wrap up this edition of Corporate Eye. For more news and updates, keep watching DTVI.